Boeing's Starliner is probably the biggest failure in the space industry in 2024, maybe even in recent years. They've constantly been in the news for their delays and problems. Many people are asking why they don't just stop the project instead of wasting billions on it. But Boeing kept going for years, fixing one issue only for another to pop up. Now, it looks like they're finally realizing it might be time to cancel the project. Today, we'll look at what's happening and what could happen next. Before we dive in, don't forget to check out our Starship models on eBay through the link in the description. Boeing's Starliner capsule was originally planned for a brief eight-day mission to the International Space Station, but the mission extended much longer, lasting nearly three months due to various technical problems. Initially, the crew was supposed to return after a short stay, but the Starliner faced multiple issues that delayed its journey back to Earth. One of the major problems involved the spacecraft's thrusters. Shortly after reaching orbit, five of its reaction control system thrusters failed due to overheating caused by a malfunction during a manual flying exercise ahead of docking with the International Space Station. This created concerns over the system's reliability, particularly during crucial phases like undocking and re-entry. NASA and Boeing engineers also discovered leaks in the helium system, which is used to pressurize the thrusters, adding to the list of issues that needed to be addressed before bringing the spacecraft back safely. While the spacecraft eventually returned to Earth without its crew, these delays and technical failures significantly impacted public confidence in Boeing's ability to manage the program. Boeing has been under pressure for years due to constant setbacks in the Starliner program, leading to billions of dollars in losses. The company lost around $1.47 billion in 2022 and continued to report significant financial hits in 2023 due to ongoing technical challenges. This raised questions about the future of the Starliner program, and many are speculating that Boeing might be considering canceling the project altogether, especially as they continue to struggle with meeting NASA's requirements for crewed flights. Many people have been calling on NASA to cancel the Starliner program due to its repeated delays and technical issues, but NASA has continuously given Boeing more chances after every setback. You might wonder why NASA has been so committed to Starliner despite these problems. To understand this, it's important to look at how NASA's commercial crew program works and how Boeing became a key player in this initiative. After NASA retired the Space Shuttle program in 2011, the United States lost its ability to send astronauts into space independently. For years, NASA had to rely on Russian Soyuz spacecraft to ferry its astronauts to and from the International Space Station, which was both costly and limited the agency's control over its missions. This situation led NASA to create the Commercial Crew Program in 2010, with the goal of developing private spacecraft that could transport astronauts to the International Space Station, reducing reliance on foreign vehicles, and fostering innovation in the U.S. space industry. To achieve this, NASA invited private companies to bid for contracts to develop crewed spacecraft. The two companies selected were Boeing and SpaceX. NASA awarded Boeing a contract worth $4.2 billion and SpaceX, a contract worth $2.6 billion to develop spacecraft capable of ferrying astronauts to the International Space Station. Boeing proposed the Starliner, while SpaceX worked on the Crew Dragon. The contracts were fixed price and milestone based, meaning that the companies would only be paid once they met specific goals. NASA provided significant funding for both companies, but Boeing's contract was larger due to its long-standing relationship with NASA and the U.S. government. However, despite this trust and investment, Boeing's Starliner program has faced a series of issues, from software failures during its initial uncrewed test flight in 2019 to the thruster and helium leak problems seen in recent years. SpaceX, on the other hand, has successfully completed multiple crewed missions, including NASA's first crewed flight from U.S. soil since the retirement of the Space Shuttle, making it NASA's primary partner in crewed space flights. Despite Boeing's repeated delays and technical problems, NASA has been hesitant to cancel the Starliner program. One reason is that NASA wants to have multiple providers to ensure redundancy in case something goes wrong with one system. 
relying solely on SpaceX, could create risks if issues arise with the Crew Dragon spacecraft. By having Boeing in the mix, NASA ensures that there is a backup option. Another factor is the amount of money and time that has already been invested. Boeing's contract is valued at $4.2 billion, and canceling the program would result in a loss of both the investment and the potential spacecraft. Although canceling Starliner might seem like the best option at this point, it's going to damage the company's reputation. They've spent years and billions of dollars on a project that hasn't delivered the results they hoped for. Stopping the project could help them avoid further financial losses, but canceling Starliner wouldn't come without big consequences. First, Boeing's reputation would take a hit. Over the past few years, the company has been involved in multiple scandals and quality control failures, with its most notable crisis being the crashes of the 737 MAX planes. These crashes, which resulted in hundreds of deaths, severely damaged the company's reputation. Despite efforts to improve safety and quality, Boeing continues to face new issues in 2024. In addition to the safety problems, Boeing has been accused by whistleblowers of using subpar or damaged parts in their planes, leading to investigations from both Congress and the FAA. Whistleblowers have also reported being retaliated against for raising concerns, which further complicates Boeing's public image. The company has admitted that its safety culture is flawed and that it is working to address these concerns. Moreover, Boeing's leadership has come under fire, particularly CEO Dave Calhoun, who despite the company's ongoing crises, was reported to earn nearly $33 million in 2024. Lawmakers have questioned why such a high salary is being paid when the company continues to face serious issues. These leadership and cultural problems have only worsened Boeing's position in the industry, making any future project cancellations like Starliner potentially disastrous for their long-term credibility. As of September 2024, Boeing's Starliner spacecraft returned to Earth without its crew due to ongoing safety concerns. During the mission, Starliner experienced multiple issues, including a failure in five of its reaction control system thrusters. This prompted NASA to make the difficult decision to return the spacecraft uncrewed, opting for safety over pushing forward with human passengers on board. The two astronauts, Barry Wilmore and Sunita Williams, were originally scheduled to return on Starliner after completing an eight-day mission aboard the International Space Station. However, due to Starliner's technical issues, NASA decided that the astronauts would now remain on the International Space Station until February 2025 when they will return on a SpaceX Dragon spacecraft. This unexpected extension of their stay comes with significant challenges. Staying on the International Space Station for such an extended period adds stress both physically and mentally. While astronauts are trained for long-duration missions, Living aboard the station for several months beyond the original plan can increase the risks of health issues, such as muscle atrophy and bone density loss, due to the prolonged exposure to microgravity. Additionally, the delayed return means that Wilmore and Williams will need custom spacesuits tailored to the SpaceX Dragon capsule, as the suits for Starliner are incompatible with Dragon's life support systems. The process of designing and fitting these new suits further complicates their situation, adding more logistical hurdles. The extended stay on the International Space Station also raises concerns about long-term health risks. Prolonged exposure to microgravity can cause muscle degradation, bone density loss, and vision problems. While astronauts regularly exercise and follow health protocols, staying aboard the International Space Station for an extended time will require even more diligence to mitigate these risks. That's all for today. Thanks for tuning in, and we hope to see you in the next video.